Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sam Floria and we are once again on the nature trail. Yeah, yeah, whoop whoop. So, a little bit has happened since last episode. Um, firstly, just wanted to let you guys know, blah, 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 guys know, that the tree ant is gone. Finally, uh, yeah, the bed's sorted the bed out, kind of. It's now purple and looks okay. <laughs> So the tree end is gone. Um, hi queen, hi ghost, hi chatch. So after the other video where I explained I couldn't kill him, somebody um, in the comments, I can't remember the name. I should have checked, I think it was clicks, I think. So their username um, told me that swords don't actually do any damage to Ents. And that kind of makes a lot of sense to me um, as soon as I read it because, you know, they are kind of like tree people so he said to kill them you need to use like fire or tnt or an axe but be careful because i don't know about the other two but he said if you use an axe then they will start to throw you so literally two seconds ago i came over and i put all my stuff away hello mr elephant um i put all my stuff away just in case he threw me and um what he had done as you can see all these leaves is he actually built like a tree around him and he was stuck inside the tree. It was really strange. Um, so all I had to do was kind of hit him. And he didn't get a chance to uh, to knock me back or anything, thankfully. So, yeah. So he's taken care of. Because as you can see, look, he was destroying my hedge. So I would have preferably relocated him. But I don't think there was a way of me doing that. Um, so unfortunately, he had to go. So I do apologise, Mr. Treant. But... It does mean now that I have been able to plant some more stuff in our garden. So we have got some barley and some rye. We've got some corn and some bell peppers. So there's lots of new things. Oh, we've got some more stuff here. Oats, soybeans and asparagus. Ooh. So we've got lots of nice things cooking. Uh, ready for us to do some more stuff with Pam's Harvest Craft. So, yeah. Let's talk about this guy. So, um... Remember the turtle that used to hang around by there? There's still one there. Well, this is his friend. And um, I looked up online how to tame him. And it said to drop a piece of sugar cane on the square. Oh, the cat's going crazy. Um, drop a piece of sugar cane on the square where he kind of hides in his shell when you go near him. And it has to be directly on the square where he's hiding. Otherwise, you won't be able to eat it. Then he'll eat it and he'll be yours. Yes, you. Yes. <laughs> so I did that just to try and see because obviously with what happened with the cat bed and things glitching and stuff, I wanted to make sure that some other stuff was working. I didn't have to like, before I kind of uninstalled things and reinstalled them. Um, so, oh, there's that Enderman. While I was killing the, uh, the tree ent, there was an Enderman whizzing around and he was very angry, but I hadn't looked at him. So I don't know who made him angry. But he was wiggling around like crazy. Also, um, I just want to apologise because every kind of like, I think it's like five, ten minutes, we get like a little freezy bit where like everything freezes for just like one second, two seconds. Don't know why it's happening, but it is. So hopefully it goes away soon. Um, but yeah, so we tamed him and I called him Toby and I put him in here when he was, he was only like that big. He was just tiny, tiny Toby. And I put him in here to, before I could build him a, an exhibit because I hadn't meant to tame him. And he grew and he grew and he grew and now we have a giant turtle. Yes, you, you're massive. Um, I literally like went to sleep one day, came back down and he was this big. I was like, whoa. So we're going to have to build somewhere for him soon because he's way too big for that. If we go around here, I planted some flowers and cleared some of the ground out. Um, I moved the beehive onto the tree because I thought it looked really cool on the tree. Um, like, you know, like an actual beehive in a tree. So I thought we'd do that. Our little uh, apple trees are going nicely. So we've got plenty of apples, which is nice. Um, I was also able to create a pear tree. Although that's not growing yet. And a lemon tree. So hopefully they'll be uh, growing soon so we can get some pears and lemons. And these are also, um, this is one of them, a herb garden. I went over that way, and I will show you why in a second. But I went over that way, and I found loads of these little herb gardens. So I brought one back with me and um, hit the rest so that they opened. And we got some herbs for our herb garden. So we've got tea leaves, spice leaves, 
uh, uh, and more spice leaves because <laughs> apparently I can't put things in rows very well but yeah so they're all sorted like that I see you Mr. Treant I'm sorry I killed your friend but please don't come and get me uh, yeah so that is what I have done and if I show you <laughs> I've done quite a lot I'm not gonna lie I've been very busy um, I don't know if I'll show you over there in this episode I might actually leave it till the next just because there is so much to show you um, but and then we need to go and check on the dinosaurs but we'll see so inside here as you can see you can have a little sneaky peek through the window a little thing has changed in my kitchen um yeah we've kind of been moving on a bit so what I did was I went and used loads of wood and I made some more of these with for us using the wood the uh what are they called kitchen sides that's it like work sides and then a piece of iron to create these cupboards and they've already got stuff in lots and lots of things hello toby um i still want to put a sink here but i haven't done it yet i haven't looked at it to be honest so that might be something we, we do uh soon and then this is from pam's harvest it's the cutting board and i also made a load more of the pam's harvest stuff because it was just it's all very basic like using um clay and iron and stuff and wood to make skillets and pots and pans so i wanted to get all that ready because there's no point in you guys seeing that because we're just going to be it's more i want to use it in the videos rather than just me making it so and then i moved the two ovens over here at the moment i am keeping both of them here um however i haven't been able to get them working yet so it's a bit weird so i need to look into how i work them like i put coal in there and some food and i don't think it would work but we'll see and i also built a little bit of a breakfast bar because i thought that'd be quite cute so it's just a couple of the tables that we had for the dining room table and these are chairs from bibliocraft so these are actually stools i do kind of want to change them from birch to oak but these are little stools and then there's like loads of different backs for them so i just gave them these ones and i think they look pretty cool um as you can see because of that i did get rid of the dining room table i will be putting the dining room table back but I have found a fancier table. That's why I put these here because they kind of match this. And they look better than just the kitchen sides because they just kind of float. Um, and the cat's coming, so let's get some food. <laughs> let's run past the cat. So that's why I did that. Um, I've just seen something else that I need to show you guys. I bred Lionel and Ruby and they had a baby. And the baby is a white chocobo. Yay, so we've got a white chocobo now, which is great, which means we are well on the way to getting a golden chocobo. Momo. Jolly Momo, come on. Um, and yeah, so his, the name was Jolly. That was what the name was given. If anybody wants to name our white chocobo, please leave a comment down below with a name suggestion. Um, I quite like the name Jolly, so if nobody... Go in there, Feather. If nobody suggests any, it's not too terrible, because I quite like the name Jolly. But yeah, that's the other thing we did. And... Um, what else did we do oh yeah the uh this so we are going to put a, a, a dining room table here by the way um i just need to make it but this is a little yeah extensiony bit and what this is is well i was getting t sick and tired of like all the food most of the food is up here now but it's like everywhere and it's all mixed up and there is still some bits down there and it was just a pain having to go all the way around here to go down to come back up and it was driving me crazy so what i thought was why don't we build like a little pantry <laughs> the th um <laughs> i know you're the queen queen ruby the uh the things that i did last time trying to when i was trying to set up their lines and stuff actually worked which is a miracle um to be honest so they worked is the cat asleep I don't know where the cat is. It kept going downstairs. I made it a ball of wool to uh, to keep it happy. So that was quite easy. Just four pieces of string in like a diamond shape. And it'll run around and play with it. It's really cute actually. And it keeps it happy and stops it hitting me. So that's always nice. So yeah, anyway. Blah, 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 going off track. <gasps> what's what's that? Oh my goodness, it was a werewolf. Oh my, oh my goodness. Why are these things outside my house? Everything's lit up. Why are these? Why oh, there's a scorpion and a zombie? Oh, why are they here? Go! <laughs> and my luckily we're inside. My sword won't kill that werewolf because I don't have a gold one. Um, gold ones are better against werewolves, but I don't have one. Anyway, right. Enough. Enough distraction now. The room. So what I thought was we needed like a little pantry closer to the kitchen 
that we could use and fill with food. I know the animals are messy. See, it's working, it's amazing. Right, focus, focus. We needed a room where we could put stuff for the pantry. Uh, we needed a pantry to put the food for the kitchen. <laughs> You can tell I planned this before I started this episode. I do apologize. And I thought, where am I going to put it? Because we've got the storeroom downstairs. And um, there's something else down there that I'm going to show you in a second. I, I told you I've been very busy. Secret projects, guys. Secret projects. Oh, my goodness. There's like a death werewolf. Look, another one. He's like on fire. Oh, my God. Right, let's go in here quick. So I thought if we went this way, we did have to. So we went down. We did have to go along a bit because this is actually the roof of the other secret bit that I'm going to show you in a second. So we had to do that and then go down. And what I thought was we could have like a laundry room and then like a little place to store our food. So I did this bit. This was all um, this reinforced dirt that I chiseled. Um, but it did look a bit strange, all of it being like that. So I thought for now, we'll just keep this bit like that. And then I can hear the werewolves. That's so scary. Because this bit is more kind of like the laundry place, I thought this would look better with like the with wood and stuff on the floor and everything. So I put some of the shelves up that were upstairs. Some more of these shelves so we could put like soapy water and everything on them. And then we've got the washing machine and the dishwasher. Now the dishwasher probably should be in the kitchen, but because it cleans our weapons as and obviously the washing machine cleans our clothes and our armor, but because this one does weapons. I thought it would be better down here because it kind of matches that one. So, um, yeah, so that's why that's down here. Now, the rest of that space. Oh, my goodness, I'm so scared. Let's go to bed. I'm scared that it's going to come up saying that the dinosaurs are hungry and then we're going to have to run out and feed them and try and dodge the uh, dodge the werewolves. Hi, pussycat. Oh, here. Here, have the ball. Look. Look, he plays with it. Look how happy he is. Oh, he's so happy. And I can, like, when he gets stuck, I can still go and pick it up. And then we can, like, reuse it. So that's really cool. So the last thing that we are going to do today that I wanted to show you guys is we're going to need some space. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Sorry about that. Um, oh, there's some toast we made by putting bread in the furnace. Uh, let's put some of this away because we're going to need some room. I see you, Toby. So we've got a crafting table, cactus green dye, rose red dye, lapis, and clay. And if we go down into here, I still need to do that roof. That's so bad. I've done all these extra things and not done the roof. So if we put these into here in the shape that was in the chest, we get a deco bench because, yes, I added a new mod, yes, another one, and we added deco craft because... You know, we don't have enough furniture mods. <laughs> we know, I think we have three, four, four, I think. Bibliocraft, Decocraft, Jammies, Furniture Mod, and Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. So, yeah, we have four. So, we're going to have a fancy house. And what I thought I would do is Ruby Wabbit was helping me one day. And she said, you know what? You could make, like, a little secret base. And I didn't know what... I was like, yeah, 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 that's cool, that's cool, but what would I put in it? And I've been trying to think of a place to put this deco bench, because as you can see, it's pretty big and quite, like, cumbersome, and it's a bit annoying. So what I thought was I could build a secret base kind of thing, and then for now, put the deco bench in it. So as you can see on the what am I looking at, at the top of the screen, it says it's a carpenter door. It's not cobblestone. <gasps> What's in there? It's a secret room. So as you can see, that's where we come down from the other um, for the other room. So that room is actually behind us. If I knock this out, there's the piece of dirt that I put there. That is the wall of the other side. It's literally like next door to each other and there. So we'd have to be really careful if we ever expanded this. We'd probably have to expand down. But yeah, so this is my little secret room. It's like our hidey hole in case anything bad happens. But for now, what we're going to do is put the deco bench in it. Because why not? So as you can see, there are so many more things that we can make. Um, a lot of things for the kitchen, which is cool, like ironing boards, um, benches, barrels. I really want to put some barrels in the um, in the pantry because I think that'll look really cool. And you can actually use them. So like the bedside tables and the wardrobes, you can actually use and fill with stuff. 
beds, lava lamps. Um, I really want to do... Where is it? Where are you? Oh, these are a load more fridges and stuff as well. Um, I don't know if you can actually, like... Oh, look, the dish rack. That's so cool. I don't know if you can actually um, use the fridge and freezer from this. Um, because I know you can't use the cooker, but I'm pretty sure you can use the cupboard. So I might change the cupboards to these, because some of these look really cool, like that one. It looks really fancy, so we'll just have to see. Oh, doll's house. Um, okay, so what I was looking for, where are you? Um, oh, her brick. That looks really cool. Taps. There. So the bridges, so the hanging bridge. So what I want to do is make a load of hanging bridges. Um, because where our lily pad bridge, bridge is at the moment, I want to replace that with a proper bridge. So I thought that this hanging bridge would look really cool there. And I want to move the lily pad bridge to further down. So we still do have a lily pad bridge, but it's not where the lily pad bridge is at the moment. So what we need to do is get some clay for this. So if we go on here uh, and go on... Deco craft, and then we want this stuff. So we need dirt, sand, and the different colours. So I know we have plenty of red. I think we need blue and green, I believe. We've got plenty of blue. Um and I'm sure one of these gives us green, so let's try. That gives us light grey. Oh, the cat. Stop it. That gives us light blue. Uh, hmm. I can hear you, Mr. Pussycat. Stop being horrible. Ferns, shrubs. Do the shrubs, maybe? Yeah, so we'll get a couple of those. And then we just need some more blue. Um... Do I not have any blue? I bet it's the blue flowers that we've got growing outside at the moment. Where's the cat? Chat, are you okay? Do you want to come? Come. Your food's in your bowl. Go and eat it. Stop being silly. We need our sword out. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna. We're gonna have to kill him because he's just gonna turn into a werewolf again. I'm sorry. There was another one over there, but I don't know where he's gone. Don't know. Oh, there's a creeper. We're gonna have to take him out too. Is there just the one? Yeah, I think so. Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Thank you. Boop, boop. Crisis averted. So, where's where's baby? There you are. Come on, baby. So I think these ones might turn into lapis. Blue hydrangeas. Do you turn into lapis? Let's take this one. They should spread. I'm not 100% but they should. Yeah. So we need more blue hydrangeas. I don't think there's any around here. So we also need sand and dirt. I'm pretty sure we've got some of that. Come on baby. Come on church. I've got dirt in my infantry. Any sand? Any sand? Nope. Let's go downstairs. Sun, 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 sun. There's sun. Where's the sun? I must have sand. Sand? Sand? Uh oh. -uh. What's in there? Oh, clay. Uh oh. -uh. Sand? Sand? What was that? Oh, bones. I don't have any sand. Where's all my sand gone? Hmm. Right. I don't have a spade. Do I have enough stuff to make a spade? A wooden spade? Let's make a wooden shovel. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go, church. Is that that scorpion I can hear? Because that sounds so gross. Let's get some of this sand. I think we only need one each, so we're gonna need a little bit. Hello, hello, Mr. Elephant. I know. This is the elephant that lived over there. Um, 
He, he seemed to decide he wanted to come over and live here with us, which is fine. As long as he doesn't make a mess, he's fine here. Come on, Chachi boy, let's go. So yeah, this is the bridge that I want to replace. That I want to replace with the wooden one, because I think that would just look better. Don't you dare get out, Mr. Cat. But I think the house is looking really cool now. Um, I think it's going to look even better when we get this stuff set up. So I'm really looking forward to it. So we get Oh, we get eight for each one. That's really cool. Uh, let's do this one first. There we go. And then, if I remember, we just kind of put them in there. And add them to the table. And then that... There we go. That tells us what we can have. So, hmm... Hmm, what shall we get? Um, I definitely want... A tap would be cool, but I don't have a sink yet. Um, these wheelbarrows look really cool as well. I like them. Uh, I don't want dungeon skeletons. Hanging pheasants. Ooh. I definitely want... Oh, tea hooks! They look really cool. And a wine one. Dish rack, dark, dish rack. Three. I definitely want one of them. For the kitchen. Oh, a little fireplace. That would look so cool. Um, what does this cost? Two each. How much have we got? Fifteen each. Let's make that fridge and see what it's like. Because it might be terrible, but we can we can see. Uh, what is this? Three. Let's take one of you. I like this, that you can just put it into the table and then it shows you what you can kind of make and you can just click it. I think that looks... That, I think that's really... It makes it a lot easier. <gasps> Tire swing! I'm going to get one of them. Um, hmm. What else do we want? A oh, little haystack. Oh, a toaster. Let's get a little toaster. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, a spice rack. Yeah, let's definitely get one of them. <laughs> a pig platter. Lovely. Oh, and here's the apple barrels. How much are they? Three. Oh, that's cool. Apples. Golden apples. Carrots and potatoes. That would be pretty cool. So let's get one each of them. And then that'll do for now. So what we can go and do is go and place all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, make it look all fancy. So let's go in here first. Um, and so I've got these barrels for us to try and this. So if we put that, see, like there. See, that looks really cool, doesn't it? And then, hmm. That like that, and then an apple one, and then a carrot one for now. We'll just leave them and see. You can put stuff in them, so I can actually put like the apples in there, and then maybe make some crates to like put here as well. I think that looks really cool. I like that. I like that. Oops, bit of lag there. Hit the wall. And then if we go this way, what have we got? Utensils, toaster, oh the fridge. Okay, so put them there. Oh, no. You can't really tell that they're there if they're there. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, oh, I think this goes like up. This might look cool like here. Oh, that looks cool. Look, it's like dishes and, and glasses. They wouldn't be above the oven, though. Like that. And then we have a little... Uh, let's let's see if we can. There we go a little toaster. Well, that looks pretty cool. And then we've got this fridge, which is huge. Um, I know a bit large fridge, but I didn't think. Oh, it does work. It's a bit. It's a bit like modern for the look of my kitchen. I think. I think a smaller one would do, or like one in the corner. What's that? Who's that? A skeleton. Two of th three of them like a zombie apocalypse or well, a skeleton apocalypse out there jesus so i might get rid of this like i said 
what I might want to, what I think I'm going to do eventually is make Queen Ruby her own, like, castle. Oh, hello. Oh, sit down, chat. Um, make Queen Ruby, like, her own, her own place to live so she doesn't have to live with me. Um, so all the stuff that I make that I'm not necessarily going to use, I just wanted to see what it was like. I'm probably going to keep, like, I've kept the other washing machine and I'm probably going to put it in her place so that it looks cool and it is functional when we go and visit, but I'm not going to have it in my own house. So this may be one of those things. But it does have loads of space, which I like. The only thing I don't like is how, like, when I hover over it, it kind of, like, all highlights. So it's a bit weird sometimes when you're, like, walking through and you're like, la, 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 la. And then, like, the dishes. These down here, the little barrels, like, the way that it, like, you see it outlines, like, all the edges of everything that's on it. I don't really like that, but I don't know if there's like, maybe if I used a different texture pack, it wouldn't do that. I have tried to look at, if there's a way anybody knows of me like turning that off, um, in, I don't know how, then let me know. Cause like, I like the look of the carrots in the barrel, but like I say, look, when you go over it, it kind of like highlights all the carrots, the edges of the carrots in black. But when I move away, it's not. And I wish it just stayed not highlighting them. Cause I think they'd look a lot better um it's not too bad when i'm out here looking in obviously but yeah it's just one of those little things that you notice that like yeah once you notice it you can't stop noticing it um yeah so that's that's where i'm gonna leave this episode um my house is looking pretty fancy um i don't i might mm, i'm undecided about the fridge what do you guys think there is a smaller one so maybe the smaller one would look less like oh my oh my animals aren't they cute queen ruby stop waking up the cat um, I think maybe a smaller one would look a bit better. Um, like, it might fit in a bit better with the style of the kitchen, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it's going to go here anyway, so I kind of just want a two, like the smaller one. That one is a bit big. Um, but I'm undecided. I think I am, like, I was disappointed with how much cupboard space these cupboards have, but I think I am going to keep them. Unless, if I can find a way of turning, like, this outline thing off that happens when I go over them, then I'll probably change them to DecaCraft ones. But we'll just see if anybody knows a way of me stopping them doing that. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, it was, again, more of an update video, but I'm glad we've got, like, the DecaCraft going and everything now. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited uh, to hatch our next dinosaur, which is what's going to be the next project in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys!